So team, keep it clean. And I got to clean myself up. This is going to be the last time y'all see me looking like this. But anyway, you two, team, keep it clean. Marcus Peters. That is a name that we we hadn't heard anything about whatsoever. We've talked about Marcus Peters a lot. We've talked about the possibility of him rejoining the Baltimore Ravens a lot and, and what that could mean, what that could do. Uh, and some people liked the idea. Some people didn't like the idea. But we just hadn't heard anything outside of our own conversations about Marcus Peters. So we wondered what the status of him would be. We wondered how interested the Ravens or how uninterested the Ravens were uh, in the possibility of bringing him back. We just we didn't know. We ain't hear nothing all up until today. Uh, because today it's been reported that Marcus Peters, our former chief, man, it seemed like that. That was a long time ago when he was on the Chiefs. Former Ram, uh, and man, that kind of seemed like a while back when he was on the Rams too. And for now, former Raven, Marcus Peters is going to be, he or he's scheduled to visit the Las Vegas Raiders, and I'm still getting used to saying Las Vegas Raiders. I'm so used to saying Oakland Raiders, and then when I think of the lost teams, I think of Los Angeles Rams, Los Angeles Chargers, and and I want to throw Los Angeles Raiders in there, but it's the Las Vegas Raiders. But anyway, it's beside the point. But Marcus Peters, he is scheduled to visit with the Raiders. And real quick, somebody told me, and and I was like, man, that that that's a really it's really interesting, really interesting little point you made. Somebody was like, when it comes to Marcus Peters. Um, the teams that he leaves, they end up winning the Super Bowl uh, over the next couple years. And I was like, oh, he's like, oh, remember, he got traded from the Chiefs, left the Chiefs. They end up winning the Super Bowl uh, a couple years later. And then he got traded from the Rams. They end up winning the Super Bowl a couple years later. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, hey, Ravens, you up next? We'll see. But anyway, with Marcus Peters, um, with him, the possibility of him joining the Raiders, and again, it's just a visit right now, but this is where it starts. Uh, but the possibility of him joining the Raiders, uh, it's got to be, it's, it's got to make him happy, I would think, because it's on the West Coast. See, you, you're a lot closer to home. You're a lot closer to home than you would be uh, when you were with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, so, and I know a lot of players, when, when they get the opportunity to play close to home, uh, that is just such a big incentive for them. Um, it is, it, because it just makes life easier. Because if you're going to see your family, instead of having to take this plane trip all the way across the country and whatnot, no, it's, it's a lot quicker. It's a much shorter travel distance. Um, so that's got to be something that he would think about. Because um, I'm sure if, if he wasn't interested in joining the Raiders, why would he even waste time on a visit? What would be the point? So you got to think that something may be building there. Now, um, for Marcus Peters, because, uh, again, this is the first anything that we've heard about him all this offseason. Uh, I hope that Marcus Peters can sort of return to form um, because we know last year it was a rough year for Marcus Peters. It, it was a really rough year. There's a lot of times he was just out of position a lot of times. And, and I think it was just I think it was really the mental part. Uh, the mental part of him coming back from his injury that he suffered the previous year um, and him, him just really getting back uh, in the groove of things. And that takes some time. They, they say it a lot of times that uh, with when it comes to those injuries, uh, those season ending injuries, um, especially the ACLs, Achilles injuries and stuff like that, uh, you can be recovered. But it, a lot of times it takes these players like a, another year to really be themselves again. Um, so this would be the year where we can see like, hey, all right, is Marcus Peters going to be back to form? Is he going to be back to that Marcus Peters that we know, uh, that opportunistic Marcus Peters, that Marcus Peters that's in, in the receiver's face clapping like that and whatnot? We know how Marcus Peters gives, and that's the Marcus Peters that we want to see. Um, so that'll be interesting. And then I believe, I believe the Ravens play the Raiders this year too. I'm like 99% sure that they do. Uh, but anyway, that could be a little – not even a revenge game because it ain't like there's bad blood between Marcus Peters and the Raven. Well, I don't think there is. It shouldn't be. It ain't like they left or broke up on bad terms or anything like that. No. They traded for him from the Seahawks. That year, they signed him to a nice contract extension. He played out the contract extension, became a free agent, and boom. That's it. Um, did he want to return to the Ravens? Who knows? I'm not sure. I, I would think that he probably would have, but I, I don't know. Because, again, we didn't hear anything whatsoever about the whole Marcus Peters situation. 
But that's got to be something that um, the Raiders are obviously going to look at it. They're going to they're gonna want to know what kind of Marcus Peters they'll be getting if they do sign him. But that's what, why you take these visits. That's why you schedule these visits so you can bring the players out, see what type of shape they're in, see what type of mind frame they're in too. See, see, see where, where, where their minds are uh, because that's a big part of it too. Player could be a tip-top shape, but if their head not in the game, then you're going to be like, oh, no thanks. We don't want it. But I'm sure with Marcus Peters, um, the Raiders, they, I don't think they're going to pass on this opportunity. Uh, and again, with Marcus Peters, him being a year removed now, uh, we will see if Marcus Peters, if last year was just sort of an anomaly because of the previous injury or if he is possibly on a decline. Again, hopefully it's just an anomaly. Um, hopefully we, we don't want to see Marcus Peters on a decline, even though I, I continue to say this, man. I really do feel like with Marcus Peters, if, because you know how a lot of corners, when they, um, when they start slowing down a little bit uh, and they make that transition to safety, I, I, man, I think Marcus Peters at safety, he, he would be almost like a cheat code, man, at safety. So, because his knowledge of the game and understanding of the game and whatnot, for him to be able to... His, with his vision that he has, for him to be able to see the whole field, like everything will be in front of him, man, that dude, he, he may break the interception record. Whatever it is, he, he may break it. The most interceptions in a single season. He may break it because he, he is that smart. I know a corner is a little rough sometimes. I know he's not always the most physical and whatnot, not always the, the best tackler and whatnot, but as a ball hawk, like – Marcus Peters playing safety, like dropping back and say, oh, man, like I think it will be such a great, a smooth transition. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. But he, he's not there yet to where they need him to switch to safety. So but if that time does come, uh, I think he would do a really, really good job. Um, but, yeah, so I hope the visit goes really good. I, I hope that Marcus Peters, uh, that if he does want to join the Raiders, I hope they sign him, and I hope it works out well, and I hope he does a phenomenal job uh, over there in Las Vegas. Um, Raiders are a team that certainly went through a lot over these past oof, couple of years, um, and they just got rid of uh, Derek Carr, um, and they brought on ooh, Jimmy Garoppolo, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they signed Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, so he's going to be their starter. So, I mean, we'll see how things go. I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy, one thing about Jimmy Garoppolo, the numbers ain't always the prettiest. They ain't always the sexy numbers and whatnot and the sexy stats. But whatever teams he be he on, he be winning. They find a way to win. So we'll see if that, uh, that goes to the Raiders too. But anyway, shout out to Marcus Peters. Um, this, uh, we, we, we're going to keep tabs on this, man, and see if he does end up signing uh, with the Raiders. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And like it's looking like Marcus Peters is going to be when it came to being a Baltimore Raven, I'm out.